Sometimes you download some CSV files or it could be somebody sent you a Word document. You think, I want to put this in Excel and I'd like to take the information that's in one column and separate it. If the data is something like, say, you've downloaded a bunch of names and it has first name and last name and there's a space between, or a comma or a semicolon or something that's, that's the same for every single field, it's really easy to separate them into different columns. So let's take a look at how. So I have a spreadsheet here and you can see that in column A I have some, um, some names, right? I'm just going to increase the font there. That's it. So I've got names, first name and last name, and it's just a sample bit of data, but I like to have it so that it has them in different columns. So I'm just going to insert and put in There we go. Now I'd like the computer to separate this for me. So all I do is I go up to the data tab and in data, I go text columns and in columns you have delimited or fixed width. Fixed width means however many characters. So say you know that it's four characters and then the next field or the next information starts, that's a fixed width. I'm going to use delimited. Delimited means there's a character or something that's the same for every single one. That's the separator. And in my case, you can see you have standard delimiters and other, so you can actually type your own in, but mine is a space. You can also have a couple of them in there and you can have treat consecutive as one or not. So I could have a semicolon for something else and a space for something or a comma, etc. Then I click on next and it says uh, which column and I can click on each to say what. So for me, it's both text and you can see it's changing the heading to text. And then I just highlight and select where I want it to start. And then I click on finish. And that's it. So that is how you separate uh, one column into multiple columns if you have a delimiter that you can use to do this. If you found this video useful, helpful, uh, please do uh, click on the thumbs up to like. And if you um, would like to see more videos, then please do click on that subscribe button. Thanks so much and have a great day. Bye for now.